Alex, Pilar, David, what are your thoughts on the topic of vulnerability as a leader? Um, I think it's core, right? It's core and authenticity. Uh, I think people choose to work for leaders, and as you kicked off, uh, people often leave because of their leaders. And if you don't have trust, like teams are nothing without trust. Um, so uncertain times are tricky, right? You may uh, know things that you can't share. Um, but I do think, to your point, um, uncertain times do not have to equal bad times, right? And so like putting to the mat, like what's the worst case scenario is a really good one. Awesome. If they are not worried or they're like, I'm the gig economy, I can find something else to do. I am thrilled because that takes away the fear element. So I love the idea of really saying, okay, well, it doesn't have to be necessarily a bad time. Let's talk about it. Let's go through it. So if you're uncertain, like what's the probability? Like, oh, this company laid off 10% people of people. That means 90% of people are still employed. So like, what do we need to do like to, to take that off the table? Um, I always try to think about like, what are the things that accepting the things that I can control? Um, we can't control that. I like what you said, like I might be worried too. So own it, have that vulnerability and then go through and reframe it. So. Uncertain times also means an opportunity, right? It's opportunity for people. It's opportunity to like reposition and go on the offensive. And sometimes like we like look at that moment, it's like, oh my gosh, like it's really, really scary, but actually maybe I can invest and go take share or go do something different. Um, and so like, I think it's really important to have that conversation with your teams and really explore what's on their mind and then take it to the mat, explore the worst case scenario and then say like, come together and figure out what's the positive that could come out of it. Because I do, don't think uncertain times always needs to equal bad times. Uh, I guess what I would say, uh, in addition to what's already been said about vulnerability is, is I think that covers um, the personal side as well as the professional side. So uh, vulnerability means um, not just telling the truth about what's going on at work, it means telling the truth about what's going on at home as well. Uh, and so, you know, saying, you know, I didn't bring my A game today because whatever happened at home or I'm dealing with this, um, because we're all just, you know, it's a way to um, hopefully uh, build the type of relationships that you want to have with the people that uh, you work with, where they also will share as openly with you. And then you are empowered to um, help them be more satisfied, at least in the work side uh, of how they spend their time. Yeah, and what I would add is, so once you've done that, right, um, it offers an opportunity, right? The first thing is you can now offer your employees flexibility, right? It's uncertain right now, what do I need to do? Do you need time? Because what a lot of us didn't take, I'll give, use COVID as an example. What a lot of us did not realize was the mental toll it took on everybody, from children to parents to grandparents, right? And so understanding the human side of that and being like, okay, this has had an effect. You can't, like he said, you can't bring your A game right now. Do you need time off, right? Do you need, do you need, do you need to come, do you need to work at night, for example? I had people in my group that preferred, they're like, listen, during the day, I just had a child, COVID's just hit, I don't know what to do. I said, listen, your delivery doesn't change, you're a high performer, do your work at night. Can you do it at night? Sure. Hey, no problem. So you offer that flexibility. I mean, you have to ad adapt to the times that we're in. Um, I think that once you've opened up that door, then it allows you to be a little bit more creative um, as somebody managing actual humans. So. <laughs>